Bonjour, valued viewers. And uh, today we are still working on our Graflex speed graphic camera. And as I said before, we're going to work on the lens today. This is the old lens board. Uh, as you can see, I had a little trouble getting the, uh, the retaining ring off here. Uh, but instead of going with the black lens board, I decided to make my own. Uh, luckily these days you have uh, these kind of squares of uh, birch wood you can get in any dollar store or, or craft store. So I made my own very fancy lens board toy for it. Uh, as you can see, I have a laser engraver, so I did a little branding here with uh, Graflex Speed Graphic. But you just take two uh, of the boards here. As you can see, you need two of them. You need to glue them together. Uh, one cut one a little bit smaller so it fits into the uh, recess there. And uh, you paint this side black. And this side I uh, stained a little bit, did the, the graphics work on it, and did some poly on it. So, so it looks very nice. But uh, I'd like you to look at the lens uh, shutter assembly itself. Uh, it is actually uh, works very well. Uh, much to my surprise, after I pried off the, uh, the filter adapter here and cleaned off all the RTV, um, everything seems to work almost as uh, brand new here. Uh, the uh, front element here and the back element simply screw off, so you can just take those off and then clean them with a little Windex or something. And uh, it's nice, bright, and clear. The uh, uh, shutter is pretty snappy. Uh, works seems to work on all speeds, include the uh, longer speeds. And set it to time. Uh, you probably see that the aperture works just fine. Uh, didn't really do too much to it, except I went inside and I rinsed out the uh, the mechanical parts with uh, uh, lighter fluid. And once everything was dry, it seemed to work just fine. The only flaw I can find on it is um, if we set it to reasonable shutter speed here, let's say 1 100th of a second, um, cock the shutter. And if we pull this down, this is supposed to be the self-timer, which will give you a little bit of time to get in front of the camera if you want to take a uh, Graflex selfie, I guess. But uh, as I found out, it doesn't work. It just uh, goes naturally with the, uh, the rest of the shutter, so I won't be taking any selfies with it. I entertained the thought of actually opening it up and trying to do the retaining gears the, the right but right way, but uh, I got the repair manual online and instantly saw that if I got it apart, I would never get it back together, or at least not working anyway. So I decided to, to leave uh, good enough alone and uh, decided that uh, this is good enough. Um, features here are actually pretty, pretty nice. They've got the aperture here, which... Uh, as you can see in the back, controls the, the hole that the, uh, the light goes through. Uh, shutter speed is this kind of wheel on the outside. This is the cocking lever, and that's the actual shutter release. Uh, this button up here is a sh uh, aperture preview. So if you get everything set up to your the aperture that you want and the shutter speed that you want, and you want actually want to check check the check the focus or whatever, uh, you just hold on to that, well, cock it, hold on to this, and fire the shutter, and this kind of holds it midway, so you can actually look on your ground glass and see the, uh, the depth of field. Um, of course, as you get smaller and smaller aperture, it gets darker and darker in there, so it's only good to, uh, to a certain extent. But uh, once you get it the way you want, you just kind of re-cock it, and... Works just just like normal. Um, this hole here is for the cable release. You can screw in cable release there and do it by cable release. That way, you're not introducing vibration 
to the camera as you punch down this uh, uh, shutter release lever. Uh, here we have the uh, uh, electrodes for the flash, and you have your uh, these take exclusively flash bulbs. And we have two different types of flash bulbs uh, that you can adjust here: the M type and the F type. I guess for medium and fast, maybe. Um, however, if you attach a uh, somehow attach an electronic flash to that, it's not really going to work because the uh, the signal is sent to these electrodes on a timed um, time delay. That gives gives the time for the flash bulbs to kind of catch fire, burn to the brightest uh, point before it trips the shutter. So that way you're taking uh, your photo with the maximum amount of light. Uh, with new electronic flashes, you don't have to worry about that. It's just instantly bright 100% of the time. So you're going to have get some mismatch if you if you try to use these. Uh, but outdoors should be should be just uh, just fine. Um, uh, I've kept the old board here. Uh, might to use that for a uh, a barrel lens, uh, because that's the great thing about the Graflex. It's got uh, two shutters on it. You've got one in the, in, built into the uh, shutter lens assembly, but you also have the sh focal plane shutter, so you can actually use a lens that uh, uh, doesn't have a shutter built into it. A barrel lens, they call them. And you have some of them that are fixed aperture, some are adjustable aperture, but uh, uh, if you can find one that kind of goes the focal length of the camera or the flange focal distance of the camera, uh, you should be able to find some you know, process lenses, like ones that come out of a copier or, or something along those lines. So that'll be fun to uh, save this one for. Uh, however, if uh, if not, I could always just make another one. These things are easy enough to make. They're uh, just two pieces of wood glued, glued together, painted on one side, and and you don't have to don't have to do all the the fancy stuff on the front. But it was kind of fun. So, of course, that goes in there, and we're eventually gonna uh, put on all the doodads, knickknacks, uh, stuff that really doesn't matter too much on the outside of the camera, and we will be kind of short final, and then maybe we can actually test it out with some film. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next segment.